Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to Open TTD tutorial number two. Uh, today we're going to be looking at picking a starting point, then we're going to be looking at placing and looking at airports, then we'll go through getting planes going, giving them orders, copying their orders around, and we'll start and stop them so we can work with them there. So, first things first, we need to pick somewhere to start. Now with airports, it doesn't really matter about the land in between the start and end of the journey, so we could go pretty much anywhere, but it does matter that we get a nice big city to start with. This one here looks quite big, and there is an area of flat land that we can work with, so we'll probably start here. Now across the top here you've got various different options, but these last ones here, these are your different vehicle options, and these are your different construction options trains, roads, sea and planes. We want the airports for now so we click that and we'll open that up there and at the moment because of the start date that we've got we can only build the small airports. So when you click on the airport you will get a white load of boxes like so. Now this shows you where the airport is going to be placed. What you can do is turn the catchment area on and this shows you where people are going to be coming to that station or airport too. So if I placed it there you can see it covers quite a lot of the city whereas if I placed it here it covers less of the city. So let's just turn that off a little bit for now. Also you cannot place on water so if I try that it is not allowed. No, uh, cannot build on water. If you build on a slope like so it will not say flat line required. Now you can build it so that one part of the airport drops off on a slope. So for example, if I placed it there, the slope is only one square of slope. So that would place, but we don't want it there. We want it nice and close to our city. So I'm going to put it there. There we go. We've got an airport. But of course we can't just go from one airport to nowhere, we need to go to another one. So I'll zoom out a little bit and we'll have a look around in the local area. Not seeing any... Oh hang on a minute, this might be a good one. Hmm. No easy place to put an airport, we could probably try but... Yeah what we'll do is we'll extend that land out a little bit and we'll put an airport there. So I'm just going to get the landscaping tool, which is this one here at the end. I'm going to choose the up arrow and I just want to bring that bit of land up there. And this is going to show you here how that if you are only dropping off by one square, it will build it up. So uh, for example, if you had a bit like that, that would not work. If the white bit is bent up, doesn't work. If the white bit is bent down like there, then that works. So we're going to pop it here like that and there we go. Now at this angle you can't actually see how that works so I'm just going to quickly find somewhere else to place another one and show you how that works. Yeah, we'll just put one here and you can see that if I zoom in you can see that it's built it up over that bit that dropped off but it'll only build up a little way. It won't build up more than one square out so if I try like this that won't do it. It's too far out. If I did it like that it would build it up. So we don't want that airport, so to remove an airport you just use this here and go just click on it. We get some of the money back there. Okay, so that's airports. Now if I click on the airport you will see that we get a piece of information about it. Now there's nothing waiting there but it tells you what it accepts. So we'll just put that on this side of the screen and I'm going to scroll across here. Oh, too far. And there we go. <laughs> and uh, click on that airport there and we'll get the information about the other airport. Now, what we'll do is that we uh, we need an aeroplane. Now we've got two airports, we need an aeroplane to go between them. So we'll start here and instead of clicking on the airport to get the information sign like we did here, we click on the hangar in the left corner here. Click on the hangar it brings up an airport hangar where we can go new aircraft. So let's have a look at what aircraft we've got available at this time. We've got three different ones here. This one's quite small, quite cheap. This one's much more expensive but can carry a lot more capacity. This one can't carry as much capacity but it's got a higher reliability I think. 
Oh no, this one's got even more reliability. Hmm. Let's have a look at the two. So, ah, right, okay. So this one's got a higher lifespan than this one, but I would much, for, uh, yeah, I'd much prefer to go with a maximum reliability and a maximum amount of capacity. So we'll go with this one. Now you can either double click it as I just did there to get one, or you can click it to highlight and then click build aircraft. Now we haven't got enough money, so I'm just going to quickly get some more. We'll go over the money situation in another tutorial, and. There we go. We've got two aircraft. Now, let's give them some orders because they won't need know where to go. We'll just close the hangar for now. So these are the different buttons down the side that uh, manipulate the uh, aircraft. We want this one here, the arrow, gives it orders. So to give it orders, we just click go to, click on the airport, across to the other airport, click go to again, and go to that airport. And it will go through each item on the list of orders when it gets to the end, it'll go back up to the beginning again. So he's already got some orders. We can click this button here, stopped, and off it goes. Let's go have a look. There he goes. He's leaving, and he's visiting that airport. Now, previously, you saw nothing was waiting at that airport, and you can see now that there are people starting to wait. And that's because an airport or a station does not get any passengers waiting until at least one service has arrived. So this aeroplane can carry passengers and mail. If you click this button here, it shows you the details of the aircraft. So you can see it carries passengers and mail. So now it's visited there, there was passengers and mail waiting. There won't be goods because there hasn't been one there. Still nothing at this airport, and that's because nothing is visited that can actually serve it. So I'm just going to speed up the game until this one lands. There we are. He's nice and landed now. And he will join this airport. He will just register there and then we will start getting passengers waiting. There we go. So what we're going to do with the second aircraft? Well, we'll give him some more orders. Um, number one's got these orders. So we'll give aircraft number two some other orders. Now, I want aircraft number two to number two to uh, go in the same place as aircraft number one so I'm just gonna click the go to but instead of clicking all the different airports and that I'm just gonna find this other aircraft here and click on him and that'll copy the orders across and we can send him on his way now I think two is uh, is okay but I think we need a couple more because we've got quite a few passengers waiting at these airports now and I think they're going to get very busy. So we'll click on the hangar again. And another way we can get orders automatically and buy aircraft automatically is click clone aircraft button. So click the clone aircraft. We'll click on this aircraft here. And there we go. We have an aircraft that's the same and the orders are the same. And it doesn't have to be out here. You can even do it in its own hangar. So clone aircraft and click on it in the hangar and we get aircraft number four. Now, we could click on this stopped here to make it go, but uh, if you've got multiple ones in a hangar, you can just click this go here, and they will all head off at the same time. Now, they're not going to head off out the hangar just yet because we've got an aircraft landing. Let's, and there we go. He's landed. Now, I just cleared the screen there, and I did that using the delete key on the keyboard. You can have lots of different things open, like that. And if you press the delete key, they all disappear. But if you want to keep an eye on one, say you want to keep an eye on the passengers at this airport, you can click this pin button. And anything else you have open when you click the delete key will go. But that airport one will not. It's quite handy. Because this screen can get quite messy with all the different things that are open. Okay. Now, let's just have a look. So we've, we've started them all off. Um... If we want to stop an aircraft, we just need to get one to stop. We'll, we'll stop this one here. But um, the way to stop it, you can't stop it in mid-air. You, uh, you have to send it to the hangar. So you click this button here, and that will then tell it to go to a hangar instead of going to the next stop. So it will find the nearest hangar, and then it will go. I'm just going to speed up the game to get it to land. There we go. And just behind that building there... I'm just going to go transparency options. There we are, just turn that building. You can see that he's heading into the hangar. There we go. 
and he will now wait in the hangar until he's told to do something else. Click on the hangar and there it is. We can uh, select him, it'll bring him up and we'll just tell him to get on his way again because we didn't really want him to stop. Now while we're in the transparency options you can see I used it to make that building go invisible so we could see that air airport hangar. I'm going to toggle that back again and what I very often do is I'll toggle the trees so they're see through as well because they can sometimes get in the way when building things. To get to the transparency options you just go up to here where the settings cog is, scroll down, hold your mouse button down and then let go over transparency options and there you go you can turn all different things transparent um, but we don't want any of that transparent for now I'll just press the Del key. So there we go, we've placed some airports, we've got some aeroplanes going around, we've given them some orders, and uh, that will do for now. Um, we'll leave that, and next time we'll pick up shipping and harbours. So in if you've got any questions about anything you've seen in the tutorials, or if you've got anything that you'd like to see in a tutorial, then just pop a comment in the video description below. Well, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.